Welcome to This Week in Astronomy, brought to you by Celestron, the world's leading manufacturer of telescopes. I'm Dave Iker, editor of Astronomy Magazine. This week I'm excited because I'm going to talk about Magnificent Orion, one of the great areas of the night sky, the winter sky, among this brilliant circle of bright stars near us in the galaxy called the Winter Circle. Well, Orion is a lot of people's favorite constellation because it has so many bright stars. Reddish Betelgeuse that someday will go supernova. Don't hold your breath though, maybe half a million years from now. Rigel, that's a very, very bright bluish star, a little bit more distant than Betelgeuse. And all sorts of deep sky gems to explore in this area, which is largely a molecular cloud of star formation and gas and dust. Also, everyone loves the Orion Nebula, the favorite emission nebula, star forming region for many, many observers. It's great in binoculars or, of course, an exploration with a telescope. There are also fainter challenge objects interspersed in this cloud of Orion. One of them is the Horsehead Nebula that's near the belt of Orion. It's really tough because it's a dark nebula seen against really faintly glowing emission nebulae. It's really a challenge even with very large telescopes and filters to see visually, but astroimagers have a lot of success recording the Horsehead Nebula. So if you're an image you might want to get out and get your own horsehead picture. And then there's a very faint, huge band of light going through Orion, a glowing reddish light that's Barnard's Loop. That's a supernova remnant, the debris, the remains of a star that exploded some 10,000 years ago. So get out there if it's not too cold, get away from city lights if you can, take a pair of binoculars, your Celestron telescope, get to that dark sky and explore Orion, one of the great regions of the sky. You'll love it, and I'll see you next week.